Cholera is a disease caused by Bacterium vibrio cholerae. It usually spreads through contaminated water, and if left untreated, it can be fatal within hours, even in previously healthy people. Contaminated public wells, eating raw or undercooked seafood, especially shellfish, that comes from certain places, eating raw, unpeeled fruits and vegetables, grown in field for which, uncomposted manure fertilizers, or irrigation water containing raw sewage is used, are source of cholera infection. In addition, grains such as rice and millet that are contaminated after cooking and kept at room temperature for several hours can grow cholera bacteria in regions where cholera is prevalent. Everyone is susceptible to cholera, except for infants who get immunity from nursing mothers who have formerly had cholera. Still, some factors can make an individual more vulnerable to the disease, including poor sanitary conditions, reduced or non-existent stomach acid, living with someone who has the disease, and having type O blood. Cholera causes severe diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, and dehydration. Cholera-related diarrhea comes on suddenly and can rapidly bring about dangerous fluid loss as much as a quart, about one liter an hour. This diarrhea often has a pale, milky appearance that seem like water in which rice has been rinsed. Vomiting occurs particularly in the early stages of cholera and can last for hours. Dehydration can develop within hours after cholera symptoms start off and range from mild to severe. A loss of 10% or more of body weight indicates severe dehydration. Signs and symptoms of cholera dehydration incorporate irritability, fatigue, sunken eyes, a dry mouth, extreme thirst, dry and shriveled skin, that's slow to bounce back when pinched into a fold, little or no urination, low blood pressure, and an irregular heartbeat. Dehydration can lead to electrolyte imbalance, which can cause muscle cramps and hypovolemic shock. Hypoglycemia can also occur when people become too ill to eat. Losing large quantities of minerals, including potassium, in stools, can interfere with heart and nerve function, and are life-threatening. In cholera patients, the kidneys lose their filtering ability, building up excess amounts of fluids, some electrolytes, and waste in the body, leading to kidney failure, often accompanying shock. Most people exposed to Vibrio cholerae don't become ill, and they don't know if they've been infected. But, they shed cholera bacteria in their stool, for 7 to 14 days, so they can still infect others, through contaminated water. Cholera can be easily treated, and death from severe dehydration can be prevented, with a simple, and an inexpensive rehydration solution. Although modern sewage and water treatment, have almost eliminated cholera in industrialized countries, but cholera still exists in Africa, Southeast Asia, and Haiti. The probability of a cholera epidemic is highest when poverty, war, or natural disasters compel people to live in crowded conditions with inadequate sanitation. If you're traveling to areas known to have cholera, your risk of contracting the disease is extremely low if you wash your hands with soap and water repeatedly, particularly after using the toilet, and before handling food, rub soapy, Wet hands together for at least 15 seconds before rinsing, use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer, if soap and water are not available, drink bottled, or boiled water, even for brushing the teeth, eat completely cooked, and hot food, avoid sushi, as well as raw or improperly cooked fish and seafood of any kind, and only eat fruits and vegetables, that you can peel yourself. For adults traveling to areas affected by cholera, a vaccine called Vaxtura is available, which is a liquid dose, taken by mouth, at least 10 days, before travel. But even with the vaccine, it's vital to take precautions, to prevent cholera. <laughs>